Club flyers, like my company do most of the club flyers. Ah, so you, you do covers. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Don't finish your sweet talk, you. Wow. And you, what? You, you that's imagine? A power. That's a power. You, you're no. not even a girl. You're already saying wow. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so what's, it, like, what's it like being a broke Niger in SA? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys play the BPM so fast? Life is fast, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> You must, must, right, must dance quick. You right, must dance quick. You know, you know why you don't want lights because you're not buying the proper bottles. <laughs> if you're buying a, an oh. So uh, we've had a lot of uh, ladies come on the show, hey, Penduka, Yeah. saying that hey, Nigerian men are better than they say men, this mm-hmm. and that. So we thought it'd be dope to invite some jollof guys to join us. <laughs> like <any. laughs> but do you like jollof? What do you guys call us? But do you like jollof rice? rice? Do you find it yeah. offensive? Not really. I just don't. I just don't like being called a jollof. Like, why are you calling me? Imagine I'm calling you Papa Steak. Why am I being called Jolof? I've been, mean, I I been called Chakalaka. Chakalaka, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had a uh, Wendy on, and she called herself a jo- Jolofina. A Jolofina. Is, is that fine? That's that's the South African females that like Nigerian guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They are the Jolofinas. So how would you like us to call you for the uh, my per- name? Uh, we're gonna get into your name, but. <laughs> What do I you don't know. No, you can call us Jollof, it's fine. It's I think fine. Jollof is acceptable the worldwide. Show, for the Niger show. boys. Let's do it. Yeah. Like, Niger yeah. boys. Niger, yeah, Niger boys. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, cool. So we decided to bring some Niger boys. Yes. Better. <laughs> <laughs> the the Jollofina. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dre and Manny. Thank you so much for coming through, bro. Thank you guys. For Shout out, fam. Yeah, man. So uh, just give us a brief history of like who you are, um, how long you've been in SA for, like, more about you so people can understand, you know, before we start talking about other okay, things. Okay, as for me, I've been in Johannesburg for like um, six to seven years. Oh, wow. I stayed in Pretoria for like four years. So like in total, I've been to South Africa for 11 plus years. Yeah. yeah and I've like, I've been around, like done a lot of hosting gig, worked for so many clubs, likes of Sumo, Montana, Hydro, Blue Room. I've done so many things. So you're a host? Yes, I'm a club host and a promoter. Ah, oh, dope. How come you've never booked us, bro? Oh, because <laughs> maybe you guys are not my cousins. Ah. Oh. Okay, from now on you'll book us, because our name will be Ibuka. <laughs> Ibuka one, Ibuka two. <laughs> we are cousins after this, fam. <laughs> and you, Manny? Oh, yeah. So uh, my real name is Emmanuel, but they call me Manny. Basically, I've been in South Africa f- since 2015. Um, I run a media company. We specialize in graphic design and motion graphics and stuff. So, ah, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so many times. that's what yeah, I yeah, actually yeah. like. I know, cousin, what, yeah. I know what you're thinking, but yeah. What am I thinking? I actually, you're thinking that's a cover, but <laughs> I run a media company for real. And we do most of the club flyers. Like, my company do most of the club flyers. Ah, so you, you do exactly. covers then. Are you like this cover? Brilliant cover. Bro, I want to get straight into the shits, man. Yes. Please. Why do you think SA women love Nigerians so much? Do you want me to just like tell you? Be shit? honest, bro. Yeah, bro. Be honest, man. Number one, I feel like um Nigerians are very generous. 
right? When it comes to their women, that's number one. And number two, I feel like the sex is is, is different. For real. Damn, we'll never know. You, yeah, you would never find out. <laughs> but I feel like the sex is different and Nigerians spend money. That's that's literally the truth. So, wow. so what I think is like um, 90% of Nigerians are very kind. So you see, being kind is a way to a woman's heart. Like if you can be generous, be kind, like show them some affection, some love, like... And you know, these days women love likes being loved financially. Mm. I don't know if you get it. So yeah, as long as yeah, you're, yeah. you're loved financially, and you you can support them a little bit with some moral lessons, then tell me which girl, which 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 of these girls will want that? I don't think they even want moral lessons. These girls just want money, man. So are you telling me, for example, if let's say we woke up tomorrow, uh, Nigerians don't have money anymore, right? Chinese have money. Now SA girls will be into Chinese guys. You'll be shocked. <laughs> they will. I, I, I would disagree with that. Real. I, I would disagree with I that. feel they will. You see, um, there's this thing about we Nigerians, which is called um, being smart. Nigerians are, are like extremely smart, and I think they're also brilliant. So you see, with the way Nigerians can like finance a lady, like with the way they can like sell you dreams <laughs> on a different platform, oh, I'm telling okay. you, you'll go for it. Like, imagine telling you like, oh, the future is bright. Like I have so much properties in Nigeria. I'm just waiting to make some money. Don't worry when I make some money, I'll make Africa look nice for you. Mm. Like they can finesse you into thinking towards their sides. Mm. Like they can, you understand? Like I'm telling you like an average Nigerian probably has like three or four girlfriends because you know why? He's able to like tell this one a story, tell different, this one yes, different story. Tell, like, you know, those, yeah. they'll finesse you, sweet talk you. Wow. And you, what do you, <laughs> You That's imagine, power. That's a power. Thing. You, you're not even a girl. You're already saying, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you're a girl. You've been taking off your pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, a, a woman like this, the world over, when it comes to Nigerians, I'm, I'm assuming maybe if you guys have traveled a bit or if you know any of your homeboys have traveled a bit, or is it genuinely South Africans who fall easier than others that you've traveled two countries? Okay, in this country, I've met Zimbabweans, and they're like cousins to South Africa, like close borders. Mm. And you see, with people from Zimbabwe also, they also actually love Nigerians. Like if you, on 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 social media, I've spoken to a girl from Morocco before. I've dated a girl who's German before. Mm. And you see, it's it's always like that. Like they just find us somehow somewhat attractive. Mm. So you see, with that way, I think Nigeria is taking the shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. what are, what are Nigerian girls like? Have, have you ever dated a Nigerian girl? Oh shit! Nah, 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 nah. Where am I gonna find a Nigerian girl? Where would you girl? find oh, one? They all married, though. <laughs> no, you find the, the ones Nigerian that are... girls in Dubai, bro. Yeah, yeah there's lots. But in Nessie, there's the all Most married. Of them yeah, married. a lot of them come to SA because they're brought by their guys yeah. who, who came here before to set up their life. Yeah, true. and then they followed. They're not gonna come. A lot of them to struggle with him, but they followed because there's no chances for for Nigerian women. girls to like walk in South Africa. Like the, uh, the chances are very slim. And what are the Nigerian girls like in Nigeria? Like, I feel for, in, from my own point of view, right? I feel like the Nigerian girls. They harder to get it, like it's harder to get into a Nigerian girl's pants than a South African girl. Because Why do you think that's the case? South African girls generally, I don't know about him, but me personally, from my experience, I feel like they like, they like things. Mm. Material. Mm. They like things. Like you just have to, you just have to like, like he said, you just have to sweet talk them, boom, boom, promise boom, boom, them boom, stuff, boom. and in. show them one or two. And so they're easy. Sometimes they don't even want to see your bank account. They just just tell them that life I is nice. Mm. And go to the club sometime and you just throw some money, buy alcohol. They see you spending money on Ace of Spade, Dom Perignon. They're like, yeah, this is I'm the in. One. So this is what I think. In this 21st century, I think every girl in the world now is acting the same way. Because I was in Nigeria recently in December. And okay, let me first put it to you. Like in Nigeria, the the, the population of men is times ten higher than women. Oh, is it? There's a lot of guys in Nigeria. Like there's plenty guys. Like there's like probably one million guys, ten thousand girls. Like it's like everybody in Nigeria gives it to a boy. So you see, now look at it. So for somebody who left Nigeria and saw like a few girls. Compared to somebody who came to South Africa, so plenty of girls. There's so many girls. So you see, you see the girls in Nigeria. You know, the girls. Big in, 
The girls, the girls in Nigeria, you see what now? Now you're trying to get one. Why are you trying to get one? There's like 20 other guys trying to get out. And they're even if nyash, that one girl. Yeah. That, bro, bro <laughs> dry ass, bro. <laughs> and they're trying, there, there's so many Nigerians. Nigerian guy trying to get her, trying to talk to her like, oh no, baby, I'll take you overseas. Oh no, I'll take you shopping, buy you diamonds, everything, which is all lies. So why are you telling her there's like 10 other guys saying the truth? So that's that's why they they, they like act hard to get. It's not like they're hard to get. If they have to come to a country like South Africa, where there's a lot of girls like like they are, you know, there's little Nigeria, there's more in South Africa. So if that comes to South Africa, I think they'll bow to pressure. Because why are you uh, from like, I don't want you. There's like 17 other girls that want you. Uh, so you see, there's no there, there's no pressure for them. They're so not, they're not morally better or they don't have better morals or whatever. It's just that the supply and demand. In, in this century, I'm telling you, like the, like, the morals is all the same. Like, we shouldn't lie to each other and say, like, no, um, um, South African girls, Nigerian girls are better than South African girls. Or South Africans are better than Nigerian girls. It's everywhere all over the world. Like, there are ukas, there bro, are prostitutes everywhere in the world, bro. You, you, you're so right, man, because a few years back, I'm from Limpopo, right? Yeah. So a few years back, uh, a Limpopo woman, a typical Limpopo girl from the village in Venda, was like, Baba, you know, like, respectful, re- treats you like a king and whatever. And then when you come to Joburg, like, yo, man, they ain't, they, ain't, they ain't about that shit, you know, like, it's crazy, right? City. Right? But now, if you go back to Venda, like in December, I went there, they're all the same now. Yeah. They're selling now even, yeah, bro. Yeah, everyone is for real. Yeah. yeah. So when they lay on the floor now, it's not to greet. It's already... <laughs> for the money. <laughs> right, so Which the, goes to what you're saying. More civilized. Wow, Remember that social media now, wow. like everybody sees this thing online. And Nigerian they girls, the I'm not yeah. the girls, they're not the type of girls I used to do like... Surgeries. Now you see a Nigerian girls going to do all Nigerian girls are doing BBL, BBL yes, and everything. BBL. What do they call? Yeah, 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 yeah BBL. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're doing the surgery and everything. So you see, everybody wants an ass now. The world, the to. economy is like getting more civilized. The, I think social media pressure. And social media pressure is also. Is yeah. You're right, man. You go to Dubai, it's the same thing. Social same media girls, bro. Ridiculous. So even in Dubai, it's, it's worse. That okay, in Dubai when I was in Dubai, I was sitting in the restaurant just drinking my beer. Then you see random girls just waving you. I, I didn't get it, like, waving me. <laughs> what in South Africa, they don't from? weave. We <laughs> system. <laughs> hey, we now. <laughs> hey. So, you see, they were just waving, like, but you can see the Nigerian girls trying to also, like, you know, they're already international, they need to take something on. Mm. So, you see, that's it. Wow. Trying to snack. Uh, I heard that um, um, in Nigeria, right? Yeah. If you pay sex to a woman, then, like, she doesn't, you don't regard her. Like, you don't take it seriously anymore. She's like a prostitute now. Like, yeah, she's ne- a prostitute immediately. It's, if you pay for sex wherever, it's... She's if I ever paid you for sex, I'm not going to date you. Mm. Oh, it's the way it is. Why am I paying for cookies? Why am I paying cookies for sex, is free. Bro. So if you have to pay for it, you're definitely I a I have hooker. two next two hands. I'm not a cripple. So why should I pay for sex? And you're a fine boy. So why are you... <laughs> you have to pay for it. But that's true. The then world you're over, selling. Though. I mean, you're not going to buy a pussy and then marry the person. Like, especially if you found no, them in not, a club. Not, 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 not buy, like, hey, I want to fuck you, how much? But I'm but saying, like, lying. in the morning, okay. she wants you to pay. I know you find her in a club or in a social setting. And then in the morning, she says, oh, 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 not in the morning. Wednesday, you fucked her on Saturday. Wednesday, she's short of rent. I'm sure you know that story. Yeah, it's it's you it's categorize like, her as a prostitute. It's the no. elder brother of selling. Oh, I feel like hey, it's the hey. elder brother of selling because a lot of them don't want to go straight to the point and be like, I'm selling, give me X amounts. But now, when they wake up in the morning, all of a sudden, you don't have food at home, your rent is due, <laughs> your hair needs to be done. Why don't you just charge me once? Like, just tell me, pay me 5k for sex, and I give you money and you go. But now you have. So much problems in the morning that I have to start solving. You're selling. So who's I'm, the pro- they both prostitutes? They all pro- to me. They okay. all prostitutes and rightfully so. Can yeah, I, I disagree. Can I tell you something? People actually go through real life problems, and having sex with you that moment and asking you for money the next time is because actually they actually do need it. People who don't need it actually for money before they even live with you. Like how much are you paying me? Mm. But just, wow. if somebody is asking but you, some like, girls are not open like, please, that. yeah, some girls are not open like that. But some girls you are not. Key. I don't want you to always say like, 
oh, because they're not open like that, you shouldn't like be able to help them. Can I tell you something? If I had sex with a girl on Friday, she's asking money on Monday, I probably would assume like a crisis came to her on Monday. Mm. So you see, it's okay to help. Like it's okay to. What like, about what because, about the ones that I've I've seen one of so the can I ask you a question? Is it, is it better to help the girl or to go use that money to buy a call in the club? I rather you. I rather you charge me for the sex once, and I pay you off. Don't start coming with series of problems. I'm not your family member. Cause, cause, what happens yeah. when you say I don't have the money? Then the tone and changes, meaning she they expects take you, it they by. They take you to these blogs. There's the blogs that are trending now. Say the guys. So broke. it was not a genuine the guys, crisis. The guys does or rape case. Yes. So, so a lot like of them. I said to you, a lot of have, them. People have their own intentions. Like some people are really genuine. They're really going through that crisis and they really need that money. Do you know there are a lot of these slay queens? There's one, there's one I saw at the club. Or maybe because the kind of people I met. Because, it's you know, it's, I don't like dragons. Like, the meet you, I see, like, you're looking <laughs> funny and you're not... What's a dragon? Like, <laughs> what's, a, what's a dragon? You can, we you, just know energy drinks. You can, <laughs> and, and, and mythical creatures. Like, you can, see, you can see a girl when she looks like a funny creature and, you know, just stay away from those sort of people. If you see they're drinking too much, like, drinking recklessly, and you can't even like sit and stay classy. Just stay away because those people are those ones who's gonna drag you to the blogs, who's gonna say bullshit about you. But when you see a proper girl, you know what I mean by a proper girl? Mm. Like you know, like this no. is a proper person. But the slay queens now, the slay queens now, they have their own. There's there's one I met at the club, and um, I wanted to get her number. She was like, "No, I'm gonna give you my number, right? But before we start having a conversation." You need to take me to Gucci and buy me a bag first. Whoa! Uh -uh. I'm like, just, just charge me 10000 for the sex and get the fuck out. Like, why are you now? What's going on now? I have to, I need to go buy you a bag first and then you start considering if you want to have sex with me. Then some of them will tell you they don't want to have sex in Joburg. You need to like fly them out because they have like this social media stuff to maintain. So they know... They need, like, they need a picture they on Instagram. They need pictures on Instagram. So if they see a guy in the club spending and you walk up to them and be like, no, um, you, our first date needs to be in Dubai. Yeah. Or something. There's so many of them that went to Dubai of recent. Like a lot of a lot of South African girls. Yeah. I think a month or two ago. Mm. So it's a train. You see them, they tell you, no, we want to go have lunch in Dubai or something because they see maybe this guy has money. So they... They want yeah, stuff for Girls Instagram. must also choose the lifestyle they want to live. You also choose the lifestyle you want to live. I feel like... I, I, I if girl wants to eat, have lunch in, or dinner in Dubai, please let her do it, bro. Mm. I feel like... If you cannot afford it, then you wait for somebody who can afford it. <laughs> 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 you know I need to show up. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes I know some of my friends, I have a friend there who I think like he wants to wake up tomorrow in Monaco, chilling with Travis Scott, and like probably eating lunch with Travis Scott. So you see... The dreams, you understand? Mm. People want the dreams. He chose that. Yeah, he chose that. Like me, tomorrow, I, I want to be in Greece, bro. Mm. Be in Santorini, beautiful, beautiful place with beautiful people. Mm. So, so it's a, if, it's, if a girl wants that, it's fine. But morally, if a girl has to put that before fucking me, then you're selling to me. you rather just charge me. Yeah, Why are you I saying? Because you won't get yeah. that without fucking. Why are you yeah. saying? I think before, I agree with that. Before you consider having sex with me, I need to buy you a Gucci bag. you rather just charge. You're charging me already. That's like a fee. You, I must buy your bag of 20,000, 30,000 before you drop down your pants. So, so what's, it like, what's it like being a broke Niger in SA? <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, trust me, eh, for Nigerians, you'd always get girls. There's broke. Pressure. Uh, there's pressure. <laughs> but there's, there's, pre pressure. there's pressure. There's pressure on, on boys that are. Boys that don't, boys, <laughs> there's always pressure on boys that don't have money, but I feel like sex wise in, in South Africa, Nigerians are sweet talkers. Mm. There's money, there's no money. I would finesse you into, into a bit like dropping your panties. Mm. I agree with that. Nigerians who like, they would talk you into doing whatever. And they're because... right. Because I once lived in Hilbra, right? So the uh, perception, South Africans, Mr. Kasi, we think all Nigerians have money. Mm. All Nigerian men have and money, big right? Yeah. Mm. The big Yeah. I think that's, that's real. I think I think okay, I think, think there's just a, um, a lot of circumcised dicks around and you're like Nigerians yes. are really circumcised. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Circumcising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. We, we grew up like from from us being a child, we get circumcised. Oh, I see. So you guys don't go to the mountains, ne? No, no mountains. what's that? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Just get circumcised, come back home. You go to the hospital. <laughs> we get circumcised at like, some of us like after bed, like we get circumcised. Mm. Mine, I don't even remember. Like, I don't, I, I, I didn't like, even know, yeah, I didn't like know I got circumcised because I was a child. You've never seen your foreskin? No. No. Oh. You have? 
Yeah, man, I got circumcised at eight or something. Mm. Nah, no. we like at eight, birth. you ate it. <laughs> 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 now, when we don't have that mountain experience, I heard that they they rape. Uh, let me keep quiet. But I heard they 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 do stuff to boys. They uh, only nah, in the closet, nah, nah. but nah, the closet. Nah, 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 that doesn't happen, bro. <laughs> they did a whole movie about it, bro. I heard about they it. They did a whole movie about they, it. They, they, nah, yeah. no one was raped in that movie, man. I don't know about no, the movie, I don't know but about I've heard rapes. a lot, but like, not, maybe touched. <laughs> maybe they just touched them. <laughs> nah, man, of course, some Kosa family. My mom started the family with Kosa. I don't think that happened. <laughs> they don't raise the boys there. <laughs> nah. I think, nah. I think if you speak about Kosa, they're dangerous, bro. Yeah, stay away from Kosa places. girls as well. I don't, I don't play. I don't <laughs> why, why not? Why not? Oh, my God. Those ones, you would sell your God to, to keep them. Kosa's <laughs> like money. Everybody knows. They that. like money, bro. Dude, these girls use muti on you guys. They don't. We also want to have sex. It's not like you're, you're finessing me into giving you what. Oh, I also l- like really, really want to fuck. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. when people say, no, Nigerians spend bags on, on women, like they spend bags like money, like they spend serious money on women to get them. Depends on your tax brackets. If you say a nigga spent 20,000 to impress a girl to fuck, depends on how much is in your account. Yeah. So, yeah you can't have... You can't have 25,000 in your bank account and spend 20K on a girl. Mm -hmm. But for a guy that has 5, 10 million in his account, if he spends 20K on a bank, the bank balance is still almost the same. It doesn't move. So when you complain, I've heard people say, no, Nigerian go to the club and they spend 150, 100,000, 20,000 on alcohol. Depends on how much is in your account. Uh, So I was telling me that you guys don't beat up girls like we do here in SA. Yeah, no. we, we, We have, we, I think we... We're raised different. You can't hit a girl. Like, it's it's very so wrong. I, I, have a, I have a perception of that. Like, you see, beating a girl is d- depends on who you are. Like, it doesn't matter what color, what trace. Or, nationality. Mm. Like, it's just you having your own morals. You can be Nigerian, you can be South African. Bro, people are just crazy and they just lay their hands on women. So, like, you can be Nigerian, you can, be, you can even come from Chinese, bro. Mm. You see in the news, people from the U.S. slapped a girl, pulled a girl's wig. So it doesn't matter where you are, like, it's just about your morals. It's not about your nationality mm. when it comes to domestic violence. Mm. You understand? Yeah. yeah. Like, with someone like me, because I was raised around women, I, was the, I, I am the oldest son of my mom. So it taught me not to raise my hand against the I woman. Generally you understand? Mm. So yes. I would not do such things. That's wrong. But you see, it doesn't matter what race it is. South yeah. African. Nigerian, Argentina. But for Nigerians here, for Nigerians here in South Africa, when a girl provokes you to some extent, you you also think there's so there's so many things that you can lose. So you rather just I for uh, one, I'd rather just walk away. Uh, like I've yeah. had a chick in my house. The other day it was my birthday on Thursday. The girl came over and <coughs> and we're just having fun. And yeah. then she got drunk. She literally broke almost everything in my house. Uh-uh. Dragons, you see? You dragons. See? dragons. <laughs> and it wasn't, it wasn't dragons. me. I don't even you know the I mean? girl. Dragons. I don't even know the girl. My friend came with her. Like, she broke. The cops came to my house at half past three. She broke everything in the house. The whole cups, the drinks, my table. What, what was the everything. fight about? That friend, actually. That guy sitting there. <laughs> So I, no, him, Michigan. I invited oh, Michigan. I invited him to my party. So he came with the girl, right? <laughs> so we were having fun and that. And the girl would always go out and make phone calls to another guy. Yeah. So, oh, right? shit. Yeah. Like, I overheard the phone call. She was like, now when I'm done here, I'm in four ways. When I'm done here, I'll come to you. And she came with my friend. Mm. So my friend got angry. He's like, nah, man. Okay, fuck you. I'm leaving. So... He left her by my place. Mm, mm. I don't know this girl. Mm. So the other guy that was there was now making fun of her, like, ah, you, you're an Ashawo. The guy that brought you had left you, you're a hooker, you're a cheap this and that and that. So the girl got angry and then she slapped the guy twice. And then it just got crazy. And then she started breaking everything in the house. The whole estate came out there like, now what's going on? Damn. So I got angry. I was very provoked. Mm. But now I looked, I'm like, no, man, this person, this girl probably don't have 5K in her account. Mm. I have so much to lose. I'm not going to now hit this girl and then end up in the police station. And police don't like Nigerians. Mm. So, and also, I feel like there's a lot that, that don't get spoken about. South African girls as well, you just see the, the outside. They don't like Nigerians. For real? Yes, that's my, like, that's my experience. I wow. feel like... South African girls don't like Nigerians. They just want 
they just want a soft life. They believe these are the ones that they can throw away the money. They're willing to throw away the money. So let's Oh, go. that's why they'll always have a main. You will be shocked that my friend would drive a McLaren to go pick a chick and she would be all over the guy. But she has another guy that stays in Cosmo City that's hitting it, a South African guy. That's his, that's like her main guy. Mm. This one is just a bag. On and the, the side. guy knows about the Nigerian guy. Sometimes the guys don't know. Mm. Oh, okay. Sometimes the guys so think, don't know. I think what he's saying, like, usually happens among black girls. Mm. You know, in South Africa, you've got women of color, the one you call colored. Yeah. And you've got some who are black girls. So, the colors yeah. so, you, see, so you see what I think is, um, you see, the girls he's talking about are mostly black girls because. Black girls are the ones who like don't like Nigerians, but not all of them. Because you see, when you when you talk about emotions, like and love, is is a matter of the heart. Yeah. Like I can like you for who you are. I can like you for what you are, and not what you have. So you see, it's it's a matter of the woman being you are in person. You probably you have a, you probably found love or something, but me, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Girls don't oh, he's found love. It's not about gold. In a hopeless place. It's not about, it's not about finding love. It's about, it's it's about getting LVs. to know. It's about, <laughs> yeah. it's about getting oh, to know people. Because I have met so many people in my life. I've met guys. I've met girls. And some people are just naturally like when a girl is kind, then I'm that's my weakness. I like kind people. Mm. So you see, yeah. I've met a lot of people. That I've is, met so you see, I understand like it's, it's a matter of the heart. But I know like. You see what I said? I said, when I first said it, I said, there are some people, the girls who meet the dragons, they just spit fire. Mm. Like, having a relationship to do with them, anything to do with them, they're xenophobic, they like disastrous, they like everything. So you say, having something to do with them has to come for something. Like, if you want them, it has something has to come out of it. Like, you, you, a but, benefit, there must be a benefit. You do you it. guys think you started the, the, the blesser lifestyle, the blesser slay queen lifestyle that's prominent now? No. And I don't think so. I think the um, Sage started that. Huh? Sage Kabunge. Sage. Kabunge. Yeah, I think oh, it started that. Oh, yeah, Sage. Yeah, I think Sage started that. Bro, because I remember, because I used to DJ like way back in the days, right? And you could go to a gig, buy a six pack of ciders, and you sort it for the night. Ciders for the girl, beers for the guys. And that was a jump. It was a party. Those, those are the years of Europa. Where well, you drink was... Jesse Leroux, biggest boy. <laughs> You know the years of Europa? Yeah. Drink Jesse Lero, uh, but uh, now, like, and then, and then. Uh, but it's social media pressure. Remember, every girl, there are like sections in the club, right? Yeah. There's the VIP section and the other, like, and the regular section. How much every was girl wants to How much was dollars to run? You see, mm, the, mm. everything is going up, like. And you know, those days you used to DJ, probably you earned probably like 400 rand, like, for scratching. No, 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 no. 10, 10, uh, 20. Uh, how much? That was a big deal back then. Bro, a big deal, then. Yeah. yeah. Man, not 20. 20. <laughs> How about just my nah. Parisa chat? I, I, I didn't even know my Parisa then, but maybe you must be with Phonic or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's coffee. And, and black <laughs> coffee. You think of you. <laughs> so where do you Maro think pieces. it changed from being able to drink a cider in peace or a beer in peace to now you have to pop bottles? Is that or nothing? It's the pressure with social media, I feel. I feel no girl wants to go to the club and stay in the regular session. Everybody wants to get to hold a bottle of Ace of Spades and, like, take videos and posts mm -hmm. so they can, like, impress their friends. I think it's social but media. But they drink ciders at home, bro. Yeah, that's at home. They're not in the club. They take pictures of you and videos of you in the club. So like, when the club posts, they can literally say, nah, they said he was there by the... My bro, everything is <laughs> regular. Myself. I used to drink ciders at home before. Yeah. I drew it. Now I, I I started drinking VS. Mm. I drew it. I started drinking VSOP. Mm, mm. On my appearance day, I'll drink an EXO. So you see, those girls also will grow. They will grow like from ciders. To, yeah, I feel come to more words. Because there's to, still currently girls taking ciders, and they're go, gonna go home with you. Mm. Yeah. But they will grow that four years time. They'll be by what's exactly the club right you like, they'll, like, yeah. they'll be in Montana Sumo in the VIP section. Chilling with big bitches, and you'll be like, Wow, I used to know that girl five years ago. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So so like, I used to know a few girls <laughs> like years ago, we used to twerk, and now you can't even say hi to them so, because so, now, you so know, bro, you probably seen like all the famous it girls now when they were starting. Like, he just I, I was said, from he just Europa, said. bro. I, I partied in Europa, partied in Blue Room, partied in Moloko, partied in Vanity. <laughs> what other club you want me to mention? 
But in the old just, club, then I moved to Johannesburg. He just said five years ago oh, they used to twerk. Now they <laughs> they they yeah? eat on Instagram. Tell us more. They used to twerk. <laughs> now they like like Instagram kingpin. Like everyone is. No, he's talking about big. facing kids. I wasn't talking. I wasn't mentioning names. Oh, you don't mention this. <laughs> I wasn't mentioning names. I was just he saying. He didn't like, mention names. <laughs> I wasn't mentioning names. I was just telling you what the lifestyle is all about. But most of the girls that uh, are big now, you started Excuse partying. Me. You see, those years in in, in 2013, mm. I also didn't used to have like Louis Vuittons. Yeah, yeah. I just used to wear like my normal um, super sure, gar, sure. like, you know, Studio 88, sports scene. But when I understand like, oh, you you sometimes you need to shine, bro. So then I understand like- The oh, money increase. Like the money increase, like people grow, so you, you see? To, that's yeah. life, bro, people grow. But aren't you guys like sharing the same girls? Cause it's only limited of people. Sometimes, mm. it is Most very, times. very possible. Most times. It Most is, times. It yeah. is very, very possible. You'll find a Nigerian that has slept with another girl that is dating another Nigerian. And that Nigerian is another Nigerian's friend. Nah. That's friend. Ah. Ah. It's an intersection. Ah. Wendy yes. said it. Mm, Wendy did say Do you guys it. sometimes like pass the girls around? Sometimes, Especially when so, you said you could never like marry someone or date someone you've paid. So yeah. once you've paid, you can re refer your other friends. Bro, he I just said that he left him. He left him some stock. <laughs> and she broke. He didn't <laughs> oh, that's him. she broke that all the other cup. No, he didn't oh, leave. Right. Me. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, why she there? Why she stay? <laughs> I, feel, I personally feel like if if you don't want to be part, this thing is like a personal. For the I feel for the girls, it's like it's personal. If you don't, you know that I know this guy. Yeah. It's up to you to say no. It's 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 not it's morally wrong for me to want to have sex with you because mm. I know you are friends with this guy. But these girls don't give a shit. Like mm. they don't care. So when you say Nigerians are passing the girls around, you must want like you want to be passed around. Mm. That's that's my Mark, opinion. What do you say you're from again? Limpopo, right? Uh, Limpopo, yeah, Venda. Oh, can I tell you something? Mm. So you think a girl who left her parents in Limpopo? to Johannesburg. Didn't you think she came to Oslo? She, she did, Manu, definitely. So, um, but there's some girls that didn't come to Hustle, but the lifestyle just changes because, you know, it's a rat race and everybody's doing that, peer pressure, and then and you I'm end up in that life. I'm going to tell you something. A lot of girls don't want to earn salary now mm -hmm. because salary is small. When you can meet somebody who is just going to like, oh, baby, I'm going to take care of you. And it's going to like true. pay all the bills. That's so you see, everyone Everybody coming to Johannesburg is coming to us. So let me tell you, I don't judge. If a girl tells me she's a prostitute, if I want and I feel like paying for it, I will. Mm. I don't judge. I'm, I don't care if you want to go to my friend and take more money from my friend. But can I tell you something? 2020, 2020, 2020, 520,000 is 100,000. Yes. You can probably <laughs> buy some RDP houses for your parents. I don't understand. Like, oh. As long as there's life, just leave, bro. Mm. Just leave life. What's your guys' strike rate like outside the club? Because I feel like there's a lot of other South African women who wouldn't fall for you guys because they're not, you know, blinded by the bottles or impressed rather by the bottles and stuff. So how often do you guys meet a chick gee, in, outside, the outside the club and, you know, they, they warm up to you and engage. as quickly and engage as quickly as the girl? Because the girls in the club sometimes are out on a mission. So you see, the women you meet outside the club, if you can hold a conversation with them, they are most likely interested. Wow. If you can like mm. approach them no more like, oh, can I take you out for lunch, dinner or something? Not like, oh, can I take you home? I'm gonna pay you this amount. Or oh, do you want champagne? So like, how, uh, how you carry yourself, the way you, you speak. Nigerians make them, like, are sweet talkers, man. Yeah. Like, I meet you in the, in the shop make them interested. or wherever. If I'm interested, I would, yo. You would let's, like me. <laughs> let's talk about some of the misconceptions, ne? I'm just gonna yes. throw them out there. You guys let's let me go. know what you think. Okay. Uh, Nigerians are scammers. Yahoo boys. People need to also, that's what I have to say. You need People to need to? Also. Whoa. That's what I have to say. You need to. <laughs> Yahoo boys. <laughs> I'm curious, man, like, right? <laughs> Yahoo Boys is like, uh, you know those emails you get? Yeah. Of uh, They normally have two first names. So it's going to be Andrew Richard, Mr. Andrew Richard. Yeah. And it's like your last estate, whatever, 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 or SMSs. Like how much those that you've known personally, no names mentioned, how much do those people spend, like make the, the big ones? How much do those people make from those little scams a month, the most that you know of, that you know personally? I, I don't know any Yahoo boy personally. I don't know anybody. Yeah, more. Personally. But there are a lot of them. Hush on, puppy in them. Exactly. There are a lot of them that are online that we obviously see. There's Hush Puppy, there's the other one that they, I don't know. But you see those people make a lot of money from it. Fam? 
So, like you said, Oshpapi, Google has told you a lot of things. <laughs> no, in South Africa, Instagram in South Africa, in South Africa, the ones Do you, you know see, anyone in South Africa? I know, but I don't, I, I don't know how much they make because they're not my friends, so they can, could never reveal. Can I, can I tell you something? Me. Yes, how, how are you gonna know what you, what they make? Like, just speak to them, see a reflection of their mindset, and like chill with them. Like, also try to become friends with some of them. Maybe you would know. I know some guys with serious cash who, in, who are into that business. I just just never told me that this is how much I gross. Bro, I'm but, for it, eh? And they make serious. <laughs> I'm bang, for it, bro. bro. There was this. I was watching this documentary and this. Um, white guy from Australia was crying because uh, he was being scammed by Nigerians. Yeah! Right? And they scammed him so much money. But I'm like, fuck these white people. They stole our land. This is us getting the land back. One, One scam at a time. No, no, no. One of the guys had told me that as well. Yeah. Well, he was like, well, white people came to Africa. Mm. They've been scamming us for the longest exactly. of time. They still and to them, it's like, yeah. Yeah, but and I also don't get but why. But you just said now you're encouraging people to scam. Scam is a crime. So you yeah. shouldn't say it's such things. Like, this so, is So is apartheid. This is our, apartheid was a crime as well. well apartheid. But you know, I kind of, I kind of, of I understand what he's saying. Like, you you don't get, like, Hospital P, for instance. Hospital P wasn't scamming black people. It's not like he was scamming yeah, 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 the yeah, poor yeah, black yeah, yeah, people. Yeah. So now when I see black people coming out to complain and stuff, I'm like, just shut up, man. That guy is collecting the money they took from us. Yeah, long time bring it ago. back. And then so he comes just, and spends it on uh, SA girls. In Africa, on Africa. SA girls. Buy Gucci bags for them. So okay, say the guy who is, who is talking about scammers and is complaining about prostitutes. What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> scammers and prostitutes. What's the I'm, not, I'm not complaining. <laughs> you, you, you got me wrong, right? I'm not complaining <laughs> about prostitution. Right? I don't mind it, right? I'm just saying, I personally, my personal preference, I feel like I'm good looking. Mm. I'm okay. I can finesse you nicely. Why do I have to pay you? Like, if, gotcha. if you're interesting, let's go have sex. If you're not, Boom. go. Why do I have to pay you for it? Yeah. But when you start asking me for well, bags and stuff in the like, morning... People need to leave. You see, this man is from Limpopo. He came to Johannesburg. Yeah, he's do doing podcasts. Podcast. This girl's was working So a girl pay. also doesn't have a job. She thinks like pick and pay can But he had jobs and lower pick and salary. Pay. Apart from that, like... You can't be high standards with no job. Like, from, why are you uh, uh, trying... Good point. Good why do you want to wear an LV uh, bag and you don't have a job? I'm going to tell you I'm tell you something. There's no rich man or wealthy man without a dirty laundry. Yeah. Either you want Nobody's it or not. Either you true. like it or not. Nobody's clean. That's true. Tell me the richest man in South Africa and I would tell you like, he's probably got the dirty laundry. I mean, so our president see, had so much money in couches. In couch. mm. You wonder why? I mean, where did so it come from? So you see what I'm saying? Like, so if, a, if, if somebody starts... Is he not a scammer? Mm, you see? I, yes. I mean, there were billions in his so, couch. That's illegal to keep the so kind of money. I'm saying, if a prostitute, if a girl starts as a prostitute and become the richest woman in South Africa. Is that not success? Whew. She must have sucked a lot of dicks, man. <laughs> that suck. <laughs> that's that's suck. That's suck. That's suck. But, but you see what I'm saying? At the end of, at the, end of the day, at the end of the day, like, she's successful. Yes, yes, yes. You understand? And in her right. In I, her right. I, you know the funniest thing is, like, people would not even remember she was fucking, like, 19 guys before she became successful. Never. I agree with you, man. Yeah, like, Cardi Cardi never. Used to, Cardi like, used to, we, we all have different hustles, bro. Like people, like you said Cardi B. Cardi B she, didn't, she didn't kill Cardi anyone. Yeah, she didn't kill, exactly, bro. She didn't steal from anyone. It's not like it wasn't consent. You understand? I agree with you, bro. Prostitution is fine. I don't mind it. It's okay. But you just the want ones, money. I'd, I'd, <laughs> me personally, right? Me personally, I have to like you to that extent to be like, okay, shop, okay. what do you need? Let me ask you. Let me be the one to ask you. Like, what do you need? Don't start looking for. If you're a prostitute, tell me. Like, you know, tell you know me. I pick you from the club. Be like, Is money. It? I'm selling. It's ten thousand. Shop. Let's go. But don't say no. I like some of Bro, these if girls. You, if you if you're a drug dealer, would you say, hey, I'm a drug dealer? You must own your shit. No. Huh? Okay. You must own your shit. Is it, okay. is it but the that's the first is so the you still have a media company. I I have a media series. <laughs> That's, bro, that's us. graphics <laughs> covers. <laughs> so you see the word love don't cost the thing. That ended nice. Yeah, love cost the thing it these days. Bro. But you must yeah, tell bro. me. You must tell yeah. me you're selling. Don't start having rent issues and your mother is dying two days after I had sex with you. Like, because it's problem? cheaper for her to just say. Just say. Like, yes. yo, bro. My, a lot of them walk up. To, like, there was a chick that walked up to me at the club. He's like, no, you look so nice. And you look young, ne? She started coming, coming, coming. I'm like, ah, that's a fine girl. So why not? <laughs> she came to my section. She's chilling. We're having fun. And then at the end of the night, she slipped it to me with style. She's like, nah, when I wake up in the morning, How much are you you're going to give me, me? 5K. Oh, hey, I'm a fool. So 
Oh, you see, when yeah, she bro. said, when she <laughs> said that, I was like, thank you. I, I appreciate I that. Now, now, <laughs> now, I don't want to take you home because I know in the morning I wouldn't give you 5K and I don't want problems. So just, you know, mm-hmm. go to your house. Then now you follow me home. You make me like you play, you string me along. Like you actually like me. We get home, we have sex, sharp, it's all good. And then in the morning, I'm like, oh, sharp, take 1K for Uber. And you go home. And then the next two hours, I'm seeing myself on the blog. You're like, hey, this guy, <laughs> this guy that stays in four ways, he gave me 500. He's a broke bastard. It's, this is a lot of that happens to Nigerians. Or you go and open a rape case. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of our brothers that we don't talk about that are literally rotting away in prison for yeah, stuff they eat. Do. Serious. Whoa, a lot of them. A real. lot of them go like, to these prisons to see Nigerians. Mm. They've not done nothing. Like they've done absolutely, they've not even, they and didn't they, even attempt rape police, or anything. The police don't even ask like what happened. The police are like, oh, you've fucking quite a quite. The police are like, you're yeah, Nigerian. Yeah. I'm a quite a quite. Get in, you're, you're gone. They Jeez. keep you there. People and are if starving. you don't even have money, you know, you know, you know what that means? Mm. Like you get a slap included. They slap you, they beat you, put you behind the back. They don't even want to hear because they know that they when, they, part of the story. when they see a Nigerian, they see payday. So they feel like if you're not going to give us money, you're going to rot in jail. And sometimes when you and they actually the know money, the truth. Like, like uh, you see, can I tell you something? I I I, I bought you a call. We went home. We were both drunk. We had sex. That's not rape. Mm, mm. Because I don't have money doesn't mean it's rape. But because of the mentality like, oh, you brought from Limpopo and say anybody who sleeps with you must... Must pay. Must give you money. Sorry to mention Limpopo. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. <laughs> so like any, like everybody, anyone who has to sleep with you must give you money. And because that person doesn't have money, you are you have to open a rape case. That is very very wrong. And the police must just help us in like subsidizing those situations. Like actually, it's not actually not rape. It's not rape mm. because you left your the club. You, came you didn't to go my to your house. house nicely. You came to my house. Ah, uh, you we're, drank we're, my alcohol. We were drinking together. Mm. I bought you pie, pepper steak. By the garage. And but that's Fanta. not even that's not even a Nigerian thing now, man. It's just a culture thing now. Even SA guys are being accused of rape when they didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's oh, just a culture a thing. Yeah. It's rampant to Nigerians. I feel like, like a lot of Nigerians a lot of ladies know that. They think it's extortion. So it's extortion. Yes. It's yeah, they think there's like yes. money in the cupboard, you don't want to give them or something. <laughs> when they say Nigerian, they're like, I today. We are going in. We are, they call their parents. Hey, it's happening, eh? You must kill the cowboy. <laughs> Money is coming, Papa. Uh, is it true that Nigerians are just a front? They don't necess- necessarily own the clubs that they are running. They own clubs. Proper business. Nigerians actually own a lot of business. I feel like Nigerians don't get accolades for a lot of things they do. Nigerians are very brilliant like, bro, and smart people. I worked for Black Dog before. They were my friends. <laughs> and it's just, they, they own it 100%. The, it's not like, a front. It's a lot of people own their clubs, legit bro. Legit business. A lot of Nigerian the clubs, tax are, and like everything. They, it's owned. Mm. Uh, maybe I don't know about other like low budget clubs, but the proper clubs, like yeah, owned we, by can't, we can't speak the for the is owned, budget. Booth is owned by Nigerian. He, he owns it. Uh, Booth, yes, yes, yeah, yes. He owns it. Mm. I know him. Mm. Black mm. door as well. Owned by Nigeria. Yeah, Black door is owned by wow. Nigeria. He owns it. You know, as soon as you walk in, you hear Afro beats. Yeah, you're gonna know. Uh, but Afro no, not about Afro oh, beats, bro. What are you saying? Bamba, yeah, man. You know, yeah, I know. Yeah, quickly, Absolutely. while we're on the music, bro, why is it? Because we've been to Ghana, eh? Uh, I've been to Nigeria as well, other African countries. Why do you guys play the BPM so fast? Life is fast, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> You must, must, must dance quick. Why you slow? You must dance quick. <laughs> Get, see, bro, we have limited time in life. Yeah. Everybody can die at any time. Yeah, you must mm-hmm. be so fast. So, the beat is fast, bro, dance fast. That time is a, it's a, it's a 30 minute set, and you you have like hundreds of songs. So, yes, my man. I'm yeah. a crazy. chorus and chorus and the next one. You must be very So, fast. when you book like piano guys, don't you guys get frustrated because they let the whole seven minutes play? So, yeah. Uh, I think with piano guys, they now understand like they don't have to play the whole beginning of the beat. <laughs> so they know the part. They, just they know the, the part people <laughs> like. <Yeah. laughs> just give just, us the real thing no. and leave the, the black coffee. Just wow, give wow, us wow, the real wow, wow, thing. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> it comes with more shit. It comes with more crazy. It comes with more crazy. Wow, 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 wow. Don't take time. Like, uh, it's like you're listening to TikTok, my man. I watched, I watched the that black, I watched the black coffee episode, and he was like, "Nah, he goes to conquer, and he builds the set and builds the dive." Ah, just give conquer me, already built. Give me what you want. Yeah, what you want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Why are you building me what up? Are you building? I'm already drunk. You're building me up. I must become sober now and then you take me. And, oh, and the longer the DJ takes, the longer Nigerians spend money. Imagine you are still playing. Well, 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 you're now to bring in us And now there's two extra. You know how much a bus of extra costs? 12,000 rand. Yeah. Now you buy two, that's 24,000. You are still playing. You are still playing. Well, well, Who are you bringing up, bro? You, you Get to the boys. Enjoy, you enjoy this thing of glitches and all the sparkling lights because you guys, I feel like, started Everybody that thing. Everybody does. That's lifestyle, no. Bro. Oh, not everyone. I hate that. I tell them. Yeah, we tell them. We tell them. Hey, no lights, no girls. It takes one person to bring two bottles. <laughs> you said no girls. Take, no girls. No, no. To bring the bottles, it doesn't take ten oh, girls. No, to bring he said bottles. no girls. <laughs> he said Look no. into his story. No man. <laughs> it doesn't take ten girls to bring to escort two the bottles. Truth. <laughs> look, at, look into the story. <laughs> no <laughs> girls. Okay. No yeah. men. Hey, this guy. I mean, if you're if to you're, bring the bottles, if you're so obviously attention. depends on what you're buying in the club. If you're obviously buying a bottle for fifteen thousand or eighteen thousand, my brother, you're there to show okay, off. No, Why I'm, am I drinking I'm a ten thousand bottle? Here, everybody right? will know. You see the boys in the club. Ah, uh, I, 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 I own the club to be in a competition of who has more the money, money or mm. who has the more money. So now I want to ask you something. You know, you know why you don't want lights because you're not buying the proper bottles. <laughs> if you're buying a, an oh, ethos oh, space, oh, you oh, bring oh, the lights, baba. Oh, Kind of so bottle you want them to know. Okay. Okay. Put it. Okay. I know I'm going Put to do something. Put it. In Nigerian oh. clubs, in Nigerian clubs, VS are not allowed. Like you don't nobody, sell they don't VS. sell VS, bro. Shut Most of VS up is only EXO, bro. Damn. Most of the clubs in Nigeria. So you say, don't worry, Montana is coming to that stage. There's not going to be VSOP. But also, we've been spoiled because we get riders, so we don't see the value in bottles as well. Yeah, we get free. And you probably DJs. not. You probably not. In the club for the same reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, anyway. yes. Imagine I just I just had five million transfers to my account, and there was some little kid that was showing up the other day. I'm like, I'm, uh, I'm up, going to go shut show up. that guy. He <laughs> shut up. So, <laughs> Keep quiet. As a graphics guy, what kind of deal you get five million for? <laughs> as a graphic designer, I'll show I you. For some Panduwa EP. I'll show you. <laughs> I uh, what do you feel about Nigerians being banned in countries? They're starting to ban Nigerians now. In Dubai, Dubai they... we heard something about Dubai and UAE. Mm. That Nigerians UK are being as well. banned. UK as mm. well. And... So you see, with the Dubai issue, I think it happens with the fact yes. of um, confraternity. And I think that's everywhere in the world. In South Africa, there's 26, there's 28, like I used to hear. And so in, I didn't get that. What? what? In, in the, Dubai, the it's an issue of confraternity. Like the courts, the like oh courts. the gangs, the gangs. Oh, the gangs. Oh, okay. So like stuff. in South Africa, I think there's like 26, 28. But you see, Nigerians are just like more violent. And you know, a Nigerian cannot speak to you and be like, "Hi, Mark." Like, yes, yes. Hi, Mark. Yes, 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 yes. You understand? <laughs> yeah. We grew up like and that. You think we're fighting? Are we not fighting? Hey, bro. Just saying hi to you. <laughs> I, I remember. I just, I just landed in in in, uh, in Lagos, my first time in Nigeria. You a few years back, bro. Fighting. So I'm trying to get a coke, and this lady's like. Hey, why are you wasting my time? What do you want? Take, 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 take. What do you want? What do you want? Like, yeah, hey, man, I'm paying. Yeah, don't Life be... is fast. Life like is fast. Was... Life is fast. Yeah. Yeah. Take, 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 take. So hey, see, I think on, with, with the issue of confraternity is why Nigerians is banned in Dubai. But with the UK issues, I, I think it's about um, education. Like people getting visas saying like, oh, they want to come study. And, and they end up not going back. And No, and they end up like bringing all your family. I, th I forgot the name of this visa they give to Nigerians. Like when they give you a visa, you can bring all your family if you're married. Mm -hmm. So like they had to stop it because um, some Nigeria blogger like you yeah, yeah. went on social media, <laughs> accepted an interview. I said, no, it, they, they don't want to study. They don't want to work. They're just using that as an escape to leave Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So that's what actually happened with the UK one. So it's not about Nigeria getting banned. You can still, I can still go to Dubai if I want. Yeah. But I just have to go on a family package. Dubai wants us as family. They don't want refraps anymore. Oh. I see. Not that Nigerians are refraps, but you see. They of, want you to come uh, with like, a purpose. There's only purpose. Yeah. yeah. There's out of all the fishes, there's only there's always a bad fish. You see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. Nigeria is a lot of people, so you don't. They they the bad ones are the few bad ones get very famous and then they paint everybody with the same brush. Yeah, it's like what they do in America where they say Africa, there's no highways. Yeah, yeah. They, you they're monkeys and, we are and monkeys. giraffes everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are a few bad Nigerians. <laughs> like, we're not going to lie. They're, they're Nigerians that are actually really bad. Yeah. But it's not everybody. Yeah. You can't just say, oh, Nigerians are scammers. Oh, Nigerians. But 
it, to me, the thing is, it, it, and you're right, right? Because there's so many Nigerians in South Africa, in corporates, who work at the big banks and yeah. all over, and they're really smart, some of them yeah. super qualified. But the thing to me, it's like, how is the few givings, how, how are they so powerful to give everybody a bad name? It's like, let's say, for instance, the issue of drugs, right? A lot of people complain and be like, no, Nigerians are on the street selling drugs and what? I'm like, have you actually asked how the drugs get into the country? Mm. Yeah. Nigerians don't even know anything about those stuff. They're mm. just the ones, they're very loud and they're they there in you, bro, money. Also throwing mm. money and trying to like... But who owns the ports? Who owns the ports? Who owns the port? the governments the are getting money exactly. from these things. The government are getting paid for real. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so someone... High top officials in the government because are allowing the government these drugs don't to know get how in. The drugs get in. Well, of course, they, they know. Do. They know everything that happens in the country. They, they do. So they eat it. Of course. Why are you like you didn't know? So <laughs> damn no. Oh, that's why in Sizoktola, it's always some Nigerians and Hillbrow, and it's never the big guys yeah, in the suits yeah, who get arrested. Yeah. Yes. Yes. When they say well, what we're going to do is xenophobia, what and chase. Uh, people out of the country and whatnot, whatnot. You see them attacking Nigerians. And we're not the only foreigners here. There are a lot of white people that are foreigners here. Why are you not True. going? There are Why a lot of attacking them? selling drugs. Yes. Yeah. Mob, there are a lot of mob, white mob, selling mob, drugs. Mob, Why are you not attacking them? Russians. Why are you not going to the port to be like, where's this thing coming from? Who owns this shipment? And exactly. where's this just... And because catch the I'm real people. Shipment. Yeah. I'm actually shipment. Mm. Why are the real, the real people... Why are the customers touching it? Mm. Yeah, the real people bring in the It's like in America, the who's pushing the drugs in the streets? Yeah. It's the black people. Um, but who gets the drugs in? The government. It's I, th the I government. think in America is, is also Mexicans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mexicans, yeah. Mexicans are the equivalent now in America to... And also also in South Africa, they are like South Africans that also sell drugs, bro. <laughs> you missed that one. You missed that part. So. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it looks like you went to white us. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to answer you, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, man, I feel like if you're, going to, if you're going to tackle drugs problem, leave Nigerians alone. These are just, these are just, I, for instance, my own story, I came, I was, I'm actually a graphic designer for real. That's how I know MASH. Yeah. Oh, yeah, MASH, yes, yes, MASH. yes. I'm actually a graphic Do you know Mauro? I, I don't. I, no, he's I just good, know MASH. Man. He's good, Mauro. I know Patrick MASH and the rest. I'm actually a graphic designer. Patrick so, Lesoba? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's one of my best friends, man. Damn, Damn shut up, bro. Yeah, no, he's a, he's a graphic designer. You see, I'm actually a graphic yeah, designer. Yeah, know. <laughs> you know Patrick, I know. Yeah, yeah all right, okay. We design, <laughs> <laughs> we design covers. <laughs> So uh, I, I came into the country and and I actually like I wanted to actually work, you understand. So I had a I had an interview with one of the companies. I went there. They actually they didn't know. I don't I don't think they knew I was Nigerian at first. So we did we had done all the practicals and everything, and they asked us to submit documents and then I submitted my passports and everything. And the guy was the guy came clean to me, he's like, No, your designs were actually very nice, but you're Nigerian, we can't hire you. Jeez. So now when a lot of people come out and be like, no, Nigerians, are, foreigners are stealing our jobs. I'm like, what jobs? But we, they don't even hire Nigerians. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, what jobs are we, we stealing? Because mm -hmm. half the Nigerians or almost all the Nigerians is here are self-employed or they try to own businesses. And you create and jobs yeah. for Slay Queens. The salons and all those stuff. <laughs> we, yeah, <Slay> yeah. <laughs> no, be no Slay Queens without Nigerians. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. We're actually feeding the economy. They don't give Nigerians jobs. They don't. You can't get employed as a The clubbing culture would actually die without you guys. Who would buy Ace of Spade? Mm. Who would buy the Dom Perignon and the True. Cristals in the club? Uh, xenophobia, what's your take on that? I think it's shitty. I feel like, I feel like it's the most horrible thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, I feel like black, it's the government, my brother. Black fighting blacks. Like, you know, you don't understand, like, you as a black man telling me I'm a black man, I must go back to my I'm fucking go country. To my country. Like, do you know how, how that thing hurts us so much? Like, it, and and it you, know, so bad. you know, when mm. they when we talk about colonization, I feel like they, South Africans, they're like, no, the white people came to take the land and what, that's not, that's, in my opinion, that's not colonization. Mm. The major thing the white man had done to a black man is to turn the blacks against the black. Mm. That's like, in my opinion, that's colonized because 
you would have a black man sell another black man out. And you know, I love to the whites. Yes. Just told, Nigerians just told, are so just told, lovely. Just told, just told a Nigerian that, oh, I'm from South Africa. They take care of you. Oh, my brother, come, what do you want to eat? Like, mm. you see the girls here yes. that go to nah, Nigeria. Not these days. These days, apparently in Nigeria, South Africans are not treated as warm, no. as you then say. Why, why are all the girls in Nigeria? Why are they going there? Why are they going there? Why are they going why there? Are they going there? Why are they going there? Like, are you from South Africa? Can I tell you? know, because of the bad PR. Nigerians will always treat foreign and nice. Nigerians will always, treat you so if nicer you're not than a Nigerian. Nigerian. You will not come back from Nigeria with your full legs, full body. Mm. They'll take your phone, they'll take everything from you. Nigeria is easy, bro. Mm. People, I told you people are smart, they're fast. Like, so you, what are you saying? Like, Nigerians are lovely, like, they accommodate strangers. Like, oh, you from South Africa, come. And you come, you're a girl from you. South Africa. They'll you share their nice. food with you. They'll, Aye, like, they'll, you're good. For that Nigeria, I give them 100%. But bro, but bro, let's be honest. We've traveled a couple of African countries and we've witnessed Ubuntu everywhere we go. Generally. Generally. Yes. Ghana. Ghana. There was a guy in Ghana who was like, oh, South Africa. Okay, but he was like, but understandable. He was like, are you from South Africa? Are you guys still xenophobic that side? Or are you guys still killing? <laughs> but that was a valid... Thing, and I, I was embarrassed to be like, fuck. Yes, you know what I mean? Yes. But generally, you're right. Do you yeah. know you love Nigeria? Zim, when you go to Zim. Oh, Zambia. Whoa, man. Yeah, yeah, everybody just shows very love, man. Some yeah, Nigerian celebrities sometimes, they don't even they want don't to come to South Africa because it's an authentic issue, bro. Huh? Check yeah, the music like, industry, for instance. There are a lot of the South African guys that are going international yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, focalistic. It's via, it's via the Nigerians. Of course. It's Davido taking focalistic to be like, let's go. And let's go to the Musakis. UK. He's Musa taking Musa. Musa. He's taking... Hey. Yeah. Avail the, uh, unavailable song yeah. is one of the biggest songs in the continent. In the world, mm. man. He brought Musa Keys, like, come on board, let's make this. They're going to tour together, obviously. It's a rap yeah. now. Yeah. They yeah, take it major, major you know, leagues that are the like, like, how did David find Musa Kids? Can't lie. Mm. I heard like, oh, he just heard his music and like, liked him and like, requested for him. Oh. So look, you can imagine. Nigerians are Have people, you ever seen man. a South African man Shut request up. for a Nigerian man to come chill on his table? Hey. Fucking hell. Those, like, those South African guys on the club, No, bro. but AK did even... that for Bunna Boy. Excuse me? AK did that. Ah, what no. did it? AKA wrote on, but literally, come on. You guys... I watched the episode where you were complaining about Bernard's tweets about AKA stuff. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Like, come on. The guy, what do you want him to say, man? Yeah, yeah. nah, AKA just died. He said, I, I love like, the guy, but I did so like, I wasn't straight to the guy, but I didn't wish him, I don't want him to die. That's mm. what he said, literally. Then everybody uh, heard different. And the AKA and Bernard story, it's not like people were like, no, AKA made Bernard big. Bernard boy was. Already one of the biggest artists in Nigeria when he uh, You left. know what I think? I think we should just move past AKA issue. We shouldn't speak ill yeah, about the death. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yes, 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 issue, yes, 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 yeah. yes. Ah, yeah. man. Yeah. But, but I, I agree with what you're saying uh, uh, in terms of... So do you think when you come here, there's no Ubuntu? What's Ubuntu? I don't Ubuntu, like that, Ubuntu is, it, man. is it's, it's, it's kindness right. from... Right. No, for, of visitors when they come no, in, no, even no amongst ourselves. Uh, there is no kind of like, like... Because like from Venda, like I grew up in Venda, what we taught is that no matter who it is that you're talking to, if there's an elder, you have to say, nah. You know, that's kind yeah, of like... That's how, so they, that's, that's how we Vendors are. That's how we are also in Nigeria. Different. Like, if you're older than me and I come in here and I see you in Nigeria, I'm like... Exactly, exactly. Like, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't are. matter who you are. If you're the genitor, it doesn't matter. So, but in this country, I think like, the kindness is not a lot. And I know... Probably if you post this on Twitter, people will be like, yeah, fuck them. They must go back to their country. Yeah, I see that every time. And at this fuck point, this at this Nigeria, point, at this point, if, are, if if you ask me to go back to my country, I'm gonna go back to my country. Nicely. We probably suffer from the you same. You probably chug the woman. That's why no, they're saying. No, same electricity that. problem, no bro. In your we country got... anymore. So what, what what do you have? To do? What, are you, what are you saying, bro? <laughs> bro, we have the same load sharing problem. Tell me. There's nothing to boast you know, now about there's, anymore. Now there's no tweet and go back to your country. You know when they used to be like, like go back to your country, you <laughs> fuck. Now you can't see those tweets. Oh, you're trying to go back to my country, nicely. my dear. Thank bye, you very bye, much. Bye. Bye. Yeah, we've got electricity. We've got, At least in Nigeria, bro. I can buy generator. <laughs> I can buy they, don't, they don't allow generator in my estate, too. So I have <laughs> to stop you know, you know, you guys didn't notice that tweet is not even a lot. Like, no. There's no xenophobic There's no xenophobic. Like I think that. this SCOM thing is working for Nigerians. Yeah. <laughs> There's no tweet like, go back to your country. <laughs> we all don't have light. Yeah, it's nothing special here <laughs> yeah, anymore. Not electricity, yeah. bro. You see, when, when people, st I, I tell them, where you guys have been living, you've not been in Africa. South Africa was not 
It's not Africa. Mm. You, you're just graduating into the African space now. Mm. The bad leaders and the bad roads and the nope. Now this is Africa. You guys, this was the UK long time ago. <laughs> now, the UK. <laughs> now you're in Africa now. Yeah, just like any other African country. <laughs> Load shedding, bad roads. It's bad now. Corruption bad on now. the rise. That's why you, you can must, imagine. You must vote a white person in. Ah. No, 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 no. I think she put Julius Malema. No. Julius. No, yes. no way. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Julius man. Malema, bro. No way. What do you guys think about your new president? Uh, the Nigerian one. Yeah, yeah, the Nigerian one. Yeah. I was. I. I did not. I did not campaign for him personally, because I feel like he's very old. Mm. Like, and I. I don't appreciate politics when it's been recycled. Like this guy has been a topic in the politics space for over thirty years, and the country is just going down, down, down. So if you're like the major kingpin for 30 years and the country's like this. Now you're just now the president. You have access to whatever you want. It's your so, turn to eat. Yes. So, so now the equivalent of the ANC. Exactly. Oh, I see. So now I feel like from my own personal view, right, because I didn't campaign for him. I, I wanted Peter Obi to win, the other guy. So I feel like you, you ruled Lagos, right? He was like the governor of Lagos. He was a senator um, for a while. He did well in Lagos. But even politics in Africa, when people be like, no, the politician did well. He brought electricity and he brought good roads. What, what did we vote you for? Like, those are like the basic things you're supposed to do. Mm. It's like you employed me, you hired me for a job and I've designed your cover for you. And then I want to, I've designed your cover for you. <laughs> <laughs> please can we put on record you and do his next album cover, please? Yes. Yeah, please. yeah, you'll charge if it's a real cover guy. <laughs> Oh, it's just a cover. <laughs> no, trust me, man. Trust so, me. You see, this is what I'm going to say about the new president. Can I tell you something? People who are, like, totally underestimated, like, can do a lot of things. You see, that's why I stand with Malema mm. any day, any time. Uh, Malema would drink this country's money. See, Malema. can, I, can I tell you something about Malema? Sometimes I, it's like I see his effort. I see his effort over foreigners. I see his effort over the country. I see his effort over load shedding, how to make the country better. Like, if I was South African, I would vote for Malema. Like, if I have a friend who's South African and they're listening to this, I want them to please vote for Malema because you know why? He's, I think that man is underestimated and he, he has the power of change. Because you look at it now, you guys have voted ANC years ago, ANC years ago, mm. ANC years ago. Please, what happened? Mm. We, it's getting worse and worse. Yes. Yes. Like, yeah. look at it. There's a load shed here. No, I know you guys wouldn't want to vote for the Malema. DA. Is not. Mm. Is not. Is not a. I think Malema has taken the only feud that is left. Like, no. he wants to fight the whites and get the land back. He knows everybody wants to hear that. Mm. It's obviously mm. good. That's it's his campaign. My same, brother, same with you're Nigerian, Nigerian president, right? Same with Nigerian the guy president. that came in, Buhari, the last president. Mm. The topic of the whole campaign was change. Let's vote change. Let's vote change. Mm. We all were on the streets jumping and saying, no, we want change and Nothing this and that. Changed. Now he came in. My brother, he messed up. Our debt is like, the, what something? we owe China now is can ridiculous. I, can I tell you, everyone who is overhyped, don't do the job. ANC is always overhyped. Everyone from Soweto, from every part of the country loves ANC because of Nelson Mandela. So try EFF. Try voting for, 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 for Malema and... I can tell you, like, that it's guy you're underestimating is going to do something. Mm. Because, I, like, I've seen... He's him, got a point to prove. Like, he's going to... He's, thank you. He's got a point to prove. He's, gonna, he's got something to The last to Nigerian you. president had every point to prove. That's what he's just saying. I don't mm. think the so. The last Nigerian it president... Was just the same and after the first four years, he came back and he's like, no, man, you know the country is really bad, so we need time. <laughs> <laughs> so we need time to, like, that four years was not enough. Yes. Give me another you four me years another, I'll, I'll show, show you. you. Now he, like, yay. He was borrowing money and they were just feasting on us back home. Yeah. So it's the, bad. You see the last you Nigerian know? president, let me, I'm going to correct him. The last Nigerian president is old. Die. Very old. But we voted for him. So can I tell you something? Can I tell you something about somebody? <laughs> yes, Buhari is very old. Can I tell you something about somebody who is very old? Even the new ones. They have old. dementia issues. Mm. They can tell you, oh, I'm going to change my clothes and forget to change their clothes. Mm. Compared to South African President Malema, Malema is still very young and vibrant. Like, mm. I'm telling you, if he says, I'm going to make South African new, he's going to make it new. Like, I don't know. How much as does a he spend at your clubs, bro? Yeah, bro. <laughs> 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 we don't know, but no, no. It's not about hey, how much man. he spent. I just like his personality. Yeah, no, it's just like, I just like, I I just like the way he talks, the way he backs up foreigners. 
The way you like, yeah, he's I'm, not even the president, and he will stand Jay, for you, bro. Jay, you know my own point of view, right? With the whites ruling the ruling the country, mm. I feel like the whites are obviously very much affected with these minor problems like load shading and the rest of them. So for them not to inconvenience themselves, they would rather just fix the power problem because they also want power. But right now the blacks are in power. They're doing nothing. There's no road. There's no lights. There's nothing. So why are you still saying but you power is not for, the only issue in South vote. Africa? There's a lot of issues in South Africa. Like, power is worse because like yo. South Africa just needs to grow. Mm. It needs to grow more. It's not about power or anything. Like it's about the the economy. They are now in the African phase. <laughs> <laughs> they are now an African country, a real African Certainly, country. <laughs> you just, I mean, I'm listening. Uh, uh, food? Nigeria, South Sea. Yeah. That's why our sex drive is high. What do you think? It's hey! With a lot of <laughs> shit. The brand is true. Uh, we don't, eat processed, don't, cover, no we don't eat processed How many Nigerians do you, many Nigerians you see in, in the hospital with cancer and We everything. don't get sick. Damn. Like, our food is proper. Like, <laughs> like our food is proper. Oh, it Bro, it sounds like we are Americans and you guys yeah, are Yeah, you guys, yeah. you know, you've, you, you guys have, like, accommodated, accommodated too much. accommodated yeah, the whites white. for so long that... You're now white. Right? Like mm, I, I get you. I feel like you. You're so McDonald's is there's no McDonald's in Nigeria. We have stuff like that. There, oh, there, there is no. There's no McDonald's. There's um, KFC. I think there's KFC. That's it. But processed food is not like a thing. It's no, not, not like a thing. thing. Everybody oh. wants to cook. I personally everyone wants to cook. Like, like and that's why you guys are so big. That's why we last long in bed. I'm not. Damn. I'm not big. What do you mean? You guys are so big. <laughs> I remember walking into a Nigerian uh, restaurant in Jersey, and I wanted like I saw beef stew, and I'm expecting meat, like red meat, and it was like it's like almost insides, you know, like uh, it's tripe it, fish. That's what you requested for. Nigeria. And, you know, I said beef stew, and they gave me that. You said Nigeria beef stew, makes like a man in a beef stew and so feet. In stuff. beef stew in Nigeria, like there's everything. Like, there's fish inside in the of beef. beef. Yes. When you kill a goat, there's intestines. There's that's you're gonna find in the stew. Hmm. Yeah. It's everything in it. We like to eat it's everything, everything in it. Man. That's we, why we are healthy. I'm studying Nigerian food, man. I'm you trying to start get eating big, Nigerian food and no, stop drinking no, two liters like, of coke. You don't even get sick, bro. <laughs> like I think you'll be healthier. Like, like I don't even remember when I when last I got sick. Like my I've not been I can, to the I can have five headache. years. I don't even so I don't I don't even have medical aid, bro. I don't get sick like that. But bro, it makes sense because look at our grandmothers back in the villages. They lasted to like ninety hundred. And they used to eat yes. and pop. It's and this pop. processed food. You buy chakalaka in a can. All these processed McDonald's, and all those, uh, like they ruin your health, bro. They would mess you up. No, but chakalaka is nice, bro. What are you saying? No, no, not, not in the, the can, can, not the processed one, one in the can. Fuck, I just make it from scratch with the carrots and stuff. Fuck, bro, I just realized we're in America. We've adopted the woke. That's a why. Yeah. Yes, we've done the wokeness thing. Yeah, yeah, you have adopted like the American culture a lot. South like, Africa is lot. literally a mini, mini American. American. Like, like yes. yeah, it's look, American. did you know I know a rapper that likes like that raps like an American? Yeah. Anati. Yeah. Like yes, yes, yes. Anati. Yeah, he raps like an American, bro. So you can see. <laughs> What do you think of Nasty C? But they, they love Nasty C in Nigeria. Yeah, 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 he raps like an, an American as well. You no, guys no, love Apart from yeah, that, Nasty talks cool. like sometimes about sex. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, where yeah, he wins yeah, the yeah. Nigerians over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was in a throat tonsils. apostle tonsil. Yeah. Yeah. You like sex also, I can hear. Soon we're going to be walking around with guns, ne? Already, dog. Already, ne? Yeah, yeah. Some of the shot outside Paraguana here, yeah, now, now, just yesterday. I mean, kids carry guns in school, man. In America, not as bad as America, but there's knives in school and stuff. Hey, we are in America, eh? You guys are knives in school, bro. We are the real Africans. We are the Africans. Somebody can just go outside and shoot someone. It doesn't happen in Nigeria, bro. For real? Nah. And the crime there? That side? In Nigeria, you can't shoot, you can't be caught stealing. It can lead to your death, bro. You so, can hustle, but not like you can also, but to. not like physical. Like I can, I can rob you and be caught, and play with my life. I can be killed immediately. Like there's jungle justice in Nigeria. Sure. What's jungle justice? Uh, steep, mob, justice. Mob, mob justice. Oh, like, there is. Even if you steal, right? yeah, 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 like, yeah. They, you, they don't have time for bullshit. Like now, they, how bad are drugs in Nigeria? The drug crimes in Nigeria. The drug crimes in Nigeria is actually very low. Like I was is in Nigeria and I was telling you like. A lot of people don't actually do drugs like in South Africa. Like in South Africa, you see people on the road and you know they're actually begging money to do drugs. Mm, mm. Those, like do, that, those right don't now. happen in Nigeria. Oh, you mean like Nyaope? Yeah. yeah. In Nigeria, when they're begging money, they actually really that, need that money. They're probably crippled. One leg is not functioning. But yeah, you see a full grown man who can work in a car wash, who can work anywhere as a bartender. And you know, you know how much the clubs want white people to work for them? Like the club wants like a white man working as a bartender, like, yeah. For like, because you guys are like mini Americans, mm. so they want yeah, like for like prestige. 
like prestige prestige issues. But at the end of the day, they're there on the streets trying to beg for money for money drugs. For drug. It's not drugs nice. is not there in Nigeria. Like What's that? the punishment if they catch you in Nigeria selling drugs? Twelve years imprisonment, I guess. No jungle justice for no jungle drug justice. dealers. No. They have the death sentence. Jung, Jung, yeah, there's for death sentence. Dealers. Nigeria is heavy. And on Instablog um, today, a man was sentenced to death because he killed somebody in his hotel. Sure. That's beautiful. And so when, when, when you come from a place like that and you come here, it's a free for all here. So you see, when I come from a place in Nigeria, when I come here, like I, I, my morals work. Like I don't want to fight you. I don't know, like, I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you because I, I still have that thing in my mind. mind like, oh, I'll I be might killed get if I a kill death you. Sentence. Oh, yes, yes, I yes. might get a death sentence. So you see, when you fed me, I could just, like, walk away. And if you do too much, take out one of your tits. <laughs> you <laughs> I'll in the face. And take out one of your tits and I'll be like, we'll settle it tomorrow. South Africans, is a, you guys have accepted so many of these European Laws cultures, and the stuff, American and the cultures. cultures and stuff, even the uh, it's mass a shooting, very like, delicate topic. Like in Nigeria, man, you can, man, like in Nigeria, you can just you not you cannot just murder someone. Home. Imagine you just going to kill someone, boom, we'll find you, bro. You will not even leave that vicinity, bro. You oh. shot someone and you think you can run that like that, Jungle bro. Botswana is the same. Botswana is the same, and they just like our neighbors here. Mm. You think They'll you shoot you someone and just, and just run away like that into your car? They will, that this guy will not America. get to the next one. Oh, man, so we in a jungle, man. You're in this. <laughs> yeah, no tolerance for murder, bro. That's murders. Hey. This is America. Bro. Like, yeah, yes, yes. America. This place is very interesting. Slow. And what about rape? How bad is rape in, in Nigeria? Okay. And what are the repercussions of okay, rape you in see, Nigeria? In Nigeria, there's not a lot of rape case issues. As at the time I left, and recently when I go, like, there's not... Nigerians, like, the mom... Tells them all the sin about mm. it. Like, so don't, bring, don't, bring, don't bring, don't uh, bring, uh, don't bring a baby while you're still young. Make sure you get married. We can don't do like, the, like we are warned about this. Like you see, rape is an actual big offense. Like it's a very big offense in. in yeah, our, girls, like, it's like a flex. When yeah, you, yeah, when so you don't yeah. Have, they lie about it. Yeah, they lie about it. Nigeria, you can't lie about rape, bro. You, you, if you, if well, you don't lie about have a kid here. Yeah, some girls will be like, no, you don't have a baby. Me, I have a baby. Some girl, I've heard nah, girls like that. come on. Trust me. True. Like, Trust rape is not, me. Is you not... know how many girls are getting pregnant? Now, so it's, not, guy, it's not a thing. The like, they don't care. To, so you guys are using protection. People have kids. I did your me, I use protection. I oh, okay. I'm, I'm telling you, like, people have kids at a very young age. Is there a social grant in Nigeria when you have a kid? Let's say you're 20 with a kid. That's government. In Nigeria, you're on your own. There's nothing. Only oh, government nothing. doesn't give girls Only money God when they pregnant. Only God looks after you, bro. God there's are not, there's, there's no, no like There's no grants in Nigeria. Like you don't get all these. It's only now that they starting to introduce housing grants. Mm -hmm. They give you two years to pay off the house. But here, where you have like 15, 20 years to pay off your bond, never. Yeah. Those cars you see that is being bought and they pay every month. So they die never. in this country. Mm. But in Nigeria, those things are difficult, bro. Let's make money and buy cash. So you see why Nigerians buy cash in this country, right? There's no credit mm. in Nigeria. They don't it's understand cash. credit. Like, it's very difficult. No, to... most African countries, even uh, Ga not Ghana, Rwanda or Ghana. Congo. Ghana's no credit. No, they don't have credit. They buy everything in cash. Let's what? buy cash. I yeah. think I think for in the in Nigeria, right? There's no we don't have proper address system in Nigeria. So sometimes when you take a loan from you the understand? bank, you understand? You might decide to move. What to if the I next move out? The bank is gonna lose, bro. They don't know. And they don't people. find you. And you guys, and there's think, so many people in Nigeria. And you guys so. think all Nigerians look alike? Nah, nah, nah. So nah, nah, nah. That, that, that's bro. But tell me about the 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 the, the party. Uh, the clubbing scene in Nigeria right now. You come back, man. Nah, it's, it's late, nah. You go to Nigeria, so you not The clubbing scene in Nigeria right now is very hectic. I was in like over like seven clubs in Nigeria. I was in Q-Lux. Uh, what's the name of this club? Colombiana. Mm. I was in like Red Room. You will not come like back. I was in like a lot of clubs in Nigeria. And I will tell you like, there's a lot of crowd to oh. fill the clubs. Oh. Wow. So tell me. Why won't you want to go every day? There are over 200 million people in Nigeria. Isn't like, it 300? It's, it's you understand? So you see, it's in, mm. club, if the, in, cl in Nigerian club, there's no competition. You have a club, I have a club. He has a club, four other club. You would get your crowd. Everybody will get their crowd. Mm. Wow. In and Nigerian the club, they don't do lineups. We don't need... All they can do is special appearance. Whiskey might be to the club. <laughs> Whiskey might be here. Might be, and they don't... <laughs> to sit there. Yeah, and they don't, they don't even... Sometimes Whiskey can just walk into 
<laughs> you can invite whiskey to your club, it goes to the rest three clubs. Nobody gives a fuck, bro. Whoa! Like, there's no, like, nice. artists, like, hosted by uh, um, special appearance, Mac G. Yeah. So, yeah, like, Mac G and so, yeah, like, Casper. There's <laughs> nothing like that in Nigeria, bro. People just go to the club. And they can just say, I'm a piano night, featuring some I'm a piano ladies because you guys are foreign. Yeah. And because you guys went to East Club, you guys can say, like, I'm tired, I'm going to East Club. Mm. And then I'm going to, like, they go to five, about five clubs in Nigeria before clubs close at eight, nine in the morning. A quick one, People. bro. A lot of South African girls with big nyash, ne? Mm. they go there and they post these flyers that they are hosting at clubs. What is the real business they're getting down to there? It's a shower business. Shower. Selling, huh? Shower. So they're selling like ass. Say it, so, but let's be honest, because he's just said that if people are not starstruck to see WizKid, why would they be starstruck to see a random South African girl's so big what ass? What I think about South African girls going to do in Nigeria is I see most of them likes dancing. I see the dancers a lot. And I see most of them. Can I tell you something? Apart from this Ashore work, mm. there are people in South Africa that really understand English that they need them for their PR job, for them to meet other people, for them to meet other celebrities. <laughs> I get yes, you. Yes, Ashawa on the side. But the thing is, Ashawa is selling ass. The thing is, they're going to sell. Yes, on the Ashawa side. is prostitute. Prostitute. Oh, they, okay, Ashawa. so the ones we see. Shao. Oh, oh, Shao. I think no, it's that's not Shao. 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 I think it's like, Shao. Shao. I think it's like, Bossy Shao. <laughs> oh, so the, when we see, because, it's cross just fly out, man, and they're hosting parties. I'm like, damn, they're getting more. He might not want to say it, but trust me, it's a shower business. <laughs> but I'm telling you, like, people, some people are it's really educated, truth. bro, it's and they just want to do it's a shower business. No more things. And I told you, Nigerian likes very now. They'll put, probably put you in some nice position, like a PRO, public relations officers, like to like. You have big yes, you're going to Nigeria. Forget PRO, my brother. But you know, <laughs> thanks for telling it like it is, bro. That's the truth, bro. <laughs> You know, you know, in Nigeria, when you literally get to the club, your sex, because you know, big nyash is not run fancy. But South African girls have sex appeal. That's what I'm gonna they say. They very yeah, 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 yeah. We got the hardest women. Have you seen what these girls? Yeah. You get to Nigeria where I feel like the Nigerian boys in South Africa, they reach, right? But they're the rich ones that are in Nigeria. In Nigeria, bro, the money. The people, real bro. money people. The oh, money yeah. people. It's because it's in dollars, right? It's Naira, Naira. but Naira, sorry. dollars yeah, like rampant. See, they, they reach. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You know, so you get in the club yeah. with that big ass and you tell someone tells you, hey, hey, I give you ten thousand dollars now. Let's go. It's, Baba, the... it's a shower business. You <laughs> run nice. Oh, can I tell you something? As a guy, if a woman comes to you and say, I'll give you ten thousand, I want you to do it. It's I will. Of, it's part of Nicely. the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's part of the lifestyle. This so that's style. what they do. It's that's why so they much. go. That's why they go into Nigeria. Anybody that tells you they're going to Nigeria to go sell can I I'm going to do PR, they're lying. I'm going to say. Come to you, yeah, selling put, yes. put wow. those girls in your shoes. You as a as a guy, if a girl comes to you and if a girl like, promises me ten thousand, I'll won't you do it? Nice. So you see, let's 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 just let's not. Yeah, but about, let's not let's cap, not be about the guys. Let's not cap what they're going to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get it. He's let's saying let's be honest they, about yeah. the transaction. And you're right. To go sell, yeah, let's not like let's not. I don't want us to like maybe criticize the female gender. Yeah, we we just gonna say the truth and be like. Money what money. a woman can do, a man can also do it. I'm mm. Yeah, but they don't, I just tell them, they don't want question to now. give us money. Would you money. tell me, like, oh, that woman gave you $10,000 to sleep with you? Mm. You'd be like, no, I made that money you brought to me. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah all, no one is not going to say no to $10,000. Exactly. Mm. For sex, let's know, be honest. So, what they're going so you see, 300K? It's, come it's, on. It's, it's, <laughs> uh, it, we, women are just unlucky. Like, not women approach us. Like, women don't approach us and say, like, not a lot of us. Like, they don't say like take money. Mm. And so you see, let's just appreciate people who are just trying to also. That's all I have to say. Yeah, and but not killing, oh, so you say and a woman not comes anyone. to me and says she wants to fuck me for ten thousand dollars, and she's hot. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she's not hot because some, some of these big boys are not, not hot. hot yeah. Yeah. Financial reasons. Not I, I will put a pillow. We'll do something. Yeah, you see exactly what I'm saying, bro. You would fuck for you would. Yeah. The financial system is hot. What are you saying, bro? You drink compares to even. Ah, you know compares to. I know. <laughs> Yo, Drake, Manny, thank you so much for coming through, man. This was so thank awesome, bro. I want to bring uh, Soul to Abuja because the last time I was there, I was in Abuja. But it was like Lagos. 2008, bro. Let's go to, Let's Lagos, go to Lagos, bro. Abuja is not so much up in Lagos. Is it? You will not come back if you go to Lagos. Man. Let's go to Lagos, dog. Let's go to Lagos. Let's go to Lagos. Let's go to Lagos. Yeah, my piano faster. Uh, very, uh, very, uh, very fast. Very fast. Very fast, bro. Forty ppm. The piano is very fast. Yeah. Killing my job. So if we're gonna be playing at one thirteen, uh, we are fucked. <laughs>
You must learn the style. You must Yo, listen you know, to the other DJ that played before you. You know what DPM to use. Like, they're very fast. Like, the tempo is high. Yeah, no, I heard Life it on, on, on Big Brother, the one where they had South Africans and Nigerians, when they yeah, had a yeah, Nigerian DJ. You know, no. Yeah, yeah, Yo, I think Todd Lennon. Yeah, that's Todd Lennon, right? Anyway, Pinook, anything else you know? Bro, no offense, right? So, <laughs> like, I, I, I had I lived amongst a lot of uh, West Africans, right? And your palms are yellow, man. Like, is it because of the diet and stuff? You see? Like, what causes that? Man, Have you been aware of that? Red. Fuck, bro, I didn't even aunts. see that, bro. Because I've always noticed it. Like, I've yeah, always, and I've always... Stuff like, this, <laughs> like, like, your palms are yellow, man. I don't man. even know my palms. <laughs> Do you know but what? Mine are red. Are this yellow? They're yellow, bro. Shit, no, they yours are not. Not all of them, but <laughs> many of them. Notice Maybe it. it's the food. I don't know. Maybe, man. okay, you know, yeah, so there's no clear reason. I don't even, I didn't even notice those. It's a random question, but it's a random thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, yeah, interesting. But how do you notice Like, I never even noticed palm. about palms. Like, palms are yellow. I don't know, man. I'm just like... You shake like, your hands and turn like, guy, let me see. <laughs> Maybe that's why you don't like girls bring you... That's why you don't like sparkler girls. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's why you don't like sparkler palm, girls. Like, sparkler girls are, are too... Nah, no, it's just too much attention, man. I, I would have... Oh, I love you, my brother. When, you, when your tax bracket increases, you love sparkler girls. I doubt it, bro. I doubt it. When I buy it at 20,000 rent bottle... You buy it. I want Dumbarion to know. or Nace of Spain. Why are you spending twenty k on a bottle if people won't see you? Bro, we, wanna, we must party with you guys for content's sake. Yeah, yeah we're coming, bro. Brother. Which clubs are you promoting? Montana Sumo. Yeah, both of them. Oh, we're coming, bro. Mm. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's, and then uh, you guys will show us how to ball, yeah. So you see, we'll even wear the chains and the Louis and the whatever. Don't come, yeah, with, yeah, your, yeah, yeah. Don't come with your bank card, eh? <laughs> you would, no, no, you guys will handle that, hey, man. Bro, you would close That's the fine, podcast bro. nicely. <laughs> Cover your <laughs> you want to next next studio's money. You're selling cameras to pay for alcohol. <laughs> Don't do that. No. Because in those clubs, the pressures are worse. Yo, bro. For real. I've got one question here I wanted to ask from the ghost lady. Man, uh, I went to, I was playing at Moloko the one time, <laughs> and they kept on stopping my set. Oh, ghost lady, is this life? Every time. No, no. No. Uh, ghost lady, she's part of the show. Yeah. Wow. Yes, yes. And every time I, I every yeah, time yeah, someone yeah. bought a bottle, they stop and they play the Undertaker soundtrack. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. To bring out the bottle, do you enjoy that? It's, it's like it was part all of eyes on you. Like, I love the Undertaker soundtrack. I remember the first time at Hydro when I used to work at Hydro. So, because my nickname is Adbreak, so I wanted that Undertaker sound so bad. Like I really do. I used to tell you to listen. When the bottles are coming, it's so speed upward. I want the Undertaker soundtrack because you know why. It engineers someone, it's pressure. Like, yeah. you know, in the clubs is, is a condition of who is about to spend the more money. Mm. And you see, I want to I want you to put you a bowler, another bowler in the same section. And you compete. And compete. I want you to like compete. <laughs> but you're the one who wins. You, you're the club promoter wins. The yeah. club owner wins. That's a circle for you. Fucking bro. hell, man. So now me as... Sounds like a Champions League <laughs> final. <laughs> me as a young boy. Even in the Champions League final, you know who wins? Four bottles. FIFA. Yeah, FIFA, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, bro. So, so me, as a young boy, sitting in the one corner buying, like, bottles of 50K or something, and then you, you're in the other corner, and you know that your bank balance is, like, 10 million or 20 million, and then you're like, who's that young boy? How much did he buy? 50K? Give me bottles of 100K. I want him uh, to keep quiet. Uh, but fuck that Undertaker shit, man. You gotta cut that shit out. Man, man we're trying to play. No, we're yeah, we're trying to play. I just yeah, bought a no. bottle of... I just bought one bottle of... Hey, hey, go get your sparkles. Uh, man, can fuck I, your bottle. Can I, tell you I, said, I paid you with this bottle. <laughs> but, but did you know there's something... I like, mean... The Undertaker thing has stopped because you know why? We became more civilized. Like, it's hard for you to listen to the Donald's Club. When, when you buy nice bottles, all we can do is blow down the music for the MC to give you a shout out. Yeah, shout yeah, out to yeah, yeah. This guy yeah. This guy complained so bad at Boots. What's his name? Um, I think it it was Tellerman. Tellerman, yeah. Yo, bro, that guy almost died on his... <laughs> he was performing... So Tellerman and then... Yeah. <laughs> he was performing and then they go, boom, dirty, man. <laughs> Oh, so in, in my time, we don't need those things anymore because I, I, think, went crazy. I think people 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 are grown and people have become more richer. Yeah, I can understand. I'm sure probably when you started this, you didn't have the slides. Yeah, but you yeah. look at you now, bro. Yeah, congratulations. You see? Yeah. So it's like that. Nah, I got you, man. Uh, this is a question from the ghost lady. She said, "What businesses fall under the title of 419?" Hey, scam, bro. Four Yahoo nine, boys. Scam. scam. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is. 419 is literally scam. It's another name for scam. Oh, so she's asking which businesses are scamming? A scam. A scam, a scam. Taking from <laughs> oh, the rich Like selling, to the poor. saying, uh, uh, I'm selling you this thing and you never get Why it. Why couldn't she ask that, like. You have an experience, right? Like a normal person. 
No, I get her. No, I, this yeah, time I, 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 I get her question. I get her question. Yeah. yeah. Like, what's 419? It you could be anything. 419, Google, it's there. Okay, I'll go home and Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like if I sell yeah. you something online and you never get it, that's partly 419 yeah, scam. scam. Bro. That's scam. Or I'm saying I'm giving out loans uh, and then you qualify. <laughs> give me a tried you a lot of yeah. times. Give me so. a <laughs> no, you know why? You I know why? I left in Hill, bro. bro. I, I know everybody's on the list. I know I everything. I know everything. You when you posted some Nigerian number trying to like hit you up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Some Nigerian that. number, for example, hit me up on some, uh, um, they were selling me something or whatever. Yeah. You know, I'm like, no, it's, it's just a chick mm. stuck in Western Cape or whatever. What the fuck, man? <laughs> you know, I'm not, I wasn't born yesterday. A lot of people yesterday. fall for it. Eh? You'll I'm, be Shocked. It's people, people fall for and these things, right? People fall yeah. for it. You'll be shocked. Not okay, so I learned a lot smart. today, man. 419 is scamming. Yes. Four nine and then we've got Dragon. That, man. Dragon. It's girls who drink too much. No, ugly reckless girls. 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 Ugly, ugly, girls. ugly reckless girls. Dragons. Bro. Dragons. Oh, grenades. Dragons, dragons, ugly yeah, reckless girls. Ugly and reckless, yeah, with, with no, with no, uh, 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 um, like you know, decorum. Okay, like and no then style, like yes, no the, elegance. The the, the all the South African girls with big nyash going to an event in Nigeria. It's uh, a, a shower, like they say. A shower, a shower they a are selling nyash. Yeah, a shower, they are selling nyash. Yeah. They're so all the girls shower. we see on Instagram posting. Ninety five percent of yeah. them. They and might they might wow. hit me at the, at the club, but it is what it is. So they will she get paid for it. hosting at the club, but there's another business happening. Hey man, that yeah. pain pain you. Like the I club said, people need to survive. Money. Yeah, people need to survive. They're hustling. Bro. And, and then and then all the Nigerians selling drugs higher up. The you South must African focus on the higher ones, the, higher the government. Yeah. So you're not the denying there's a lot of the, uh, well, the are Nigerians. I mean, they are, they're, 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 they're the last, they're the last on the food chain when it comes to mm, drug dealing. But higher, the, the bringer in. Yes, they're the government. Nigerians don't import. The, import. They don't. Nigerians don't work Africans. at the customs. They don't do work they? at customs. They, they, how do the drugs get in? How do you get through customs? If you can't even get a job as a graphic designer at a company, a legit company. Then how do you bring stuff in through customs? In Nigeria, can't even be a policeman, bro. Have you seen a Nigerian policeman in it's this country? All, it's, it's, Have you seen a South African policeman in Nigeria, though, also, you know? The Chinese policeman. The Chinese Nigeria. policeman. It's possible, but you don't want to apply. If you want to apply as a policeman in Nigeria, there are chances you get it, bro. For real? Yes. Nigerians hold foreigners on high esteem than... Yes, bro. They treat you better than the way they treat me as a Nigerian. Yes. Whoa. Yes, yes. Nigerians are very nice, bro. They treat you better. If you go to Nigeria, go to Lagos, for instance, they treat you better than the way they treat me. Yeah. yeah. They want to accommodate you. They want they you to come back. They will accommodate you. They will give you food. They want you to but come yeah. back. But some of them I want your travel allowance. Depends on the Nigerian you meet. Like, oh, you have some travel allowance. That's party, bro. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> but it's yeah, like but you spend your money yourself. Man, Nigerians are lovely people. Well, Nigerians are lovely people. just need to go to Lagos. Dre, thank you so much, man. Thank really you, appreciate guys. it, man. Thank you, man. This Thanks is dope, so man. Appreciate you. Uh, we coming at you from Rise Studios. What's the email to use the studios? If people want to if, use the Rise Studios. If people want to book the studios. Arise, Arise Studios. Arise Studios. Uh, website, www.arisestudios.co.za. <laughs> www.arisestudios.co.za. Yeah. All right. Can you, can you hear all the Nigerian scammers already going to the website? <laughs> We're happy, guys. Uh, Once book studios, <laughs> we charge 5000 to come, but we'll put you to 80000 and we all fall for that, man. What is it? Sometimes people will fall for scams, bro. Hey, man, we out here. Podcast and chill. Boom. <laughs> Peace. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha, lefiki. Bungo even it. When they ask you, how Sabin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistiri. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.